So, you know, Deepak left us this animation in the comments because he wants to learn how to create it. And I thought this would actually make a good tutorial because you are going to learn how to recreate this lateral sliding animation effect and also this scrolling video animation. So in this video, you learn step by step how to create these animations and how to add music to them in Canva. And this animation editing is perfect if you have many product photos that you want to show case in just one video or if you have many pictures from your holidays that you want to share. Plus, this vertical format is perfect for Instagram Reels, TikTok and YouTube Shorts. Are you ready for this tutorial? Let's start! And before we start the tutorial, I just wanted to mention that the same way as Deepak did, you can also leave an animation idea that you want to learn how to create in the comments as I may take yours as inspiration for a future tutorial. First thing we're going to do is to go to canva.com and we are going to create a new video document. For this, we are going to click on video and because we want to create a format that works for Reels, TikTok and YouTube Shorts, we are going to select this option here that says mobile video. Now, we are in the editor and the first thing we are going to create is the layout. We need to add some elements before actually working on the animation. And because I want to create a video using Using photos, I'm going to add frames to this page. So let's go to elements and from here scroll down until you see a section called frames. I'm going to add the square frame with rounded corners. So this one, I just have to click to bring it to my empty page and I want to create a layout with two different columns and four rows. I'm going to increase a little bit the size of these frames and now what I'm going to do is to duplicate this page. We're going to come back to page number one and delete the first row because we are going to add a text box in here. So I'm going to text, add a text box. With this text box we are going to create a title. So let's say that you are going to share photos from your latest holiday. Days. So let's type summer photo dump and then if you want you can select all so I'm just pressing ctrl a and then hit uppercase. You can select a font that you want in here. I'm actually going for a font called Arandir. Going for this one that is bold or even like extra bold. Make it bigger and now you can leave it as it is you know like a plain color in the background you can leave it as white or you can add a texture. In my case, I want to add a texture. So let me go to elements. And from here, I'm going to search for abstract gradient background. I'm going to photos. And from here, I'm simply going to scroll down until I see an image that I want to use in the background. I think I actually found the image I want to use. Here's the name of this image. And I simply need to drag and drop this image into my page and then right click set image as background i'm going to do exactly the same process on the second page and now i'm going back to page number one i think i'm actually going to change this text box color to white now we have the two main layouts that we need for this video animation this is the first one and this will be the next one that we are going to duplicate but don't worry i'm going to show you everything step by step first i want to start filling these frames with photos. So I'm going to upload. So I already have some of the pictures that I want to use in here already uploaded, but I'm going to upload some more pictures. You can do it by clicking on this button that says upload files and then select the photos that you want to upload to Canva so then you can use them on your video. I'm selecting here the photos that I want to upload. So I'm selecting them all and then hit open and I'm going to wait until all of these pictures are fully uploaded. Okay, my photos are ready and I simply need to start dragging these photos to the frames. If you need to change the position of any of these photos, simply double click and you will be able to adjust the position and click done when you are done. I'm going to continue dragging some photos in here. Now we're going to move to page number two, but before we start adding some more pictures in this frame, 
names, I would like to duplicate the page. And now we can add the pictures on page two. And again, before I start filling the photos on page number three, I'm going to duplicate the page and then I can start filling page number three. You can continue duplicating the last page. It will depend on how many pictures you want to add to this video. I believe I'm going just to fill one page more. Okay, I have all of these frames filled with photos and I think we are ready to start creating the animations. We're going to start by creating the animation on the first page in which we see the photos sliding from the laterals. For this, we are going to duplicate page number one. So we have page one and page two looking exactly the same. And we're going to work on page number one. And before we start animating these elements, we need to add some guides. So let's go to File, Settings, Show Rulers and Guides. We're going to add one vertical guide here where we see these frames beginning and then one more where we see this edge of the second line of frames. Now we're ready to start adding some animations and there is a simple way to do it. We are going to add a custom animation but before we need to add a transparent shape next to these two frames. I'm going to add a square shape so I'm going to hit the key R and I'm going to position this square next to this frame. Next step is to add transparency to this square. We don't actually need to see it, but we need this shape for the animation. Now I'm going to select these three elements in here, the two frames and this transparent shape, and then I'm going to group them. Once you have these elements grouped, you are going to move them to the right while holding shift. You shouldn't be able to see the photos or the frames it should look something like this and then you're going to select the group making sure that you are selecting all of the group not just one element in the group but the whole group and you can do it by clicking on one of these corners and then go to animate from here create an animation and we're going to move these elements to the left by holding shift so we have a straight animation and then we're going to stop when we see the first frame reaching this guide. So I'm going to start dragging and holding shift until we see this frame reaching this guide. Perfect. The animation looks fine, but it's not smooth. So we are going to change the movement styling here and we can make it smooth. Let's take a look. Yeah, this one looks good or we can make it steady. Yeah, I think steady looks better, but I'm going to increase the speed in here. Okay, perfect. This one looks good. I'm going to click done and I'm going to follow exactly the same steps for the second row. I'm going to add a shape, position this one this time on the right because we are going to create the animation coming from the other lateral. So let me change the transparency on this shape, grouping these elements and then moving them to the left until we don't see any frames. Then we're going to animate, create an animation and start dragging these elements until this frame touches the right guide. Okay, I think I can do it better so I'm going to delete this path and recreate the animation one more time. Okay, I'm going to change the movement style now to steady. Make it a little bit faster. And I think I did a good job here. Both animations are moving more or less at the same speed and both of them are quite steady. And now for the third row, we are going to follow exactly the same steps as we did for this first row. So adding a shape, 
positioning this shape to the left, adding transparency, grouping these three elements, moving them to the right, and then adding a custom animation while holding shift until this frame reaches this left guide. Going to steady, remember to bump the speed, and we're gonna try for these animations to move at the same speed, more or less, then hit done. Now we have the sliding animation on the three different rows, but on the video that Deepak shared with us, we see the first row appearing first, we don't see the second or the third one, we then see the second row and then the third one. So we need to adjust the timing of these rows. I'm going to select these three group of elements, right click and then show timing. We see here the timing of each of these groups. Here's row number one, row two and row three. So we want to adjust when we want the second row to appear and I'm gonna try second number one. So that's why I'm positioning this guide in here and then I'm trimming this line in here. Then we want to adjust also so the timing for row number three. So I'm positioning this guy to two seconds and then trimming this group or this timeline. So I have adjusted when I want the second row and third row to appear, but I see that the first row is still moving when we see row two and row three appearing. So we're going to adjust the speed of these custom animations. I'm going to group number one or row number one, go to custom animation and I'm going to increase the speed. Now let me go back here to the preview and let me adjust the speed a little bit more. Now, perfect. We see the first row appearing and then second row appearing. I need now to adjust the speed on the second row and the third one. So let me go here, adjust the speed. Perfect. I think we see this one arriving before we see the next animation appearing. So let me select this group and adjust the speed. So we see the same speed on the three rows. Perfect, we're gonna click done. Perfect. Now let me preview this page and as you can see we have a second and a half in which all the elements are still so I'm going to trim this section out. I'm going to position my guide where I see that the elements are static and I'm going to press S. This is going to trim out this section. I'm going to delete it and as you can see we have now the section that is animated. We have the first part of the animation ready and we're going to start the second part in which we see this scrolling animation effect. For this, we are going to our last page, select all of these elements, group them. We're going to the other pages, group all of these elements. And then what we are going to do is go back to the last page, select this group of elements, and we're going to Ctrl C or Command C to basically copy all of these elements. Go to the previous page and paste them. We're going to position these elements here in the middle of the screen screen more or less and then move these elements up so we can see something like this. They should be aligned, select both the group of elements and then group them again. You see here we have the group action or the group button. Now the next step is that we're going to again Control C and go to the previous page and Control V. We're going to position these elements again to the middle of the screen and take this group of of elements and position them upwards. Now Control A to select all of the elements and group them again. You see that now we have a lot of elements in here. We are going to again Control C. Now we have arrived to a critical point in this animation. We are going to work now on page two and here's where we are going to create this scrolling animation effect. 
So you're going to page two and add a couple of guides more. We're going to add a guide here and then why not one more in here. This is going to help us out later when we are going to reposition these elements. So move this group of elements up and then we're going to paste this group of elements that we have copied before. Slide them below and then select all of the elements again. So Control A or Command A and group these elements again. Now that we have all of these elements grouped, you're going to scroll them down and make sure that they are positioned in the right place. That's why we created these two new guides in here. Now I think we're ready to start creating this scrolling animation. We don't need the last pages so we can delete them. Now we are going to end up with only two pages. The first one which is already animated and then the second one in which we are going to create this new animation. Now on page two we are going to zoom out and then by selecting this group of elements you're going to animate create an animation and then we're going to start dragging these elements up until we see the last image appearing here on the screen and we're going to try for this image to go above this guiding here so i'm going to take this group of elements from the bottom and i'm going to start moving or dragging these elements all the way up while holding shift Okay, so here I go, holding shift and moving these elements up. This part is actually very tricky if you have selected a lot of images. So I'm taking my time here to do my best. Okay, I did my best and I actually believe I selected a lot of images. So I do suggest to go one page lower on this photo selection. Now I have the scrolling animation going on. We need to still adjust the movement styles because I think my movement wasn't as smooth as I wanted and we are also going to click down and increase the timing on this page because I believe it's going very fast as it is. So let me see. Yeah, I think this one is looking better like this and we can go again to custom and see if steady looks better. Yeah, the speed is all the way down, hit done, and I think we are ready to preview this animation. Okay, so we have the animations ready. We just need to add music and download this file. Let's go to elements and let's close this previous search. This time I'm going to audio and this is actually the song that I wanted to search for. But if you want to use the same one, just go and search your colors and you can select any of these two audio tracks. If you want to use them, but you don't have a Canva Pro account, we have a Canva Pro free trial in the description. Let me bring this guide to the beginning of the project and then click on your colors instrumental to add this other track. Let me close it and here is a little bit difficult to preview. Let me come closer but here at this section there is not much of the song going on because the audio is kind of flat. So I want the audio or the beginning of the video to start with this part of the audio. So I'm going to drag the audio to the left until we see these big waves matching the beginning of our project. And I think my video is ready to be downloaded. If you want to continue adjusting details, I do suggest you preview your video, do the changes, and then once everything is ready, follow the steps to download it. You're going to click on the share button on top of the screen, then download. Make sure that the file type is MP4 video. If you have a Canva Pro account, you can increase the quality of your video to 4K. And then if you are posting this video to your social accounts, I do suggest you connect your social accounts by clicking here and then select the YouTube channel that you want to use. Once you see the name of your channel in here, you're going to click download. And here's the final result.
And remember that I'm always open to challenges. So if there is an animation that you want me to teach you how to create, you can leave it in the comments. To continue learning with us, remember that you can subscribe to our channel and you can also browse the videos that we have in here. And to have access to special perks and exclusive educational content, consider joining our membership. I think that's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!